Although Kylo Ren is actually a Skywalker, the man formerly known as Ben Solo actually shared more of a paternal bond with the mysterious and menacing Snoke. The associated Star Wars novels even revealed Snoke had been watching and influencing his future apprentice since he was in Leia's womb. The first Torda leader's sudden exit in The Last Jedi shocked fans. It also contributed to the backlash by robbing the trilogy of a fascinating villain who had barely started to be explored on screen. But what if nothing was what it seemed? Ever since the build-up to The Force Awakens in 2015, theories have exploded among the fandom. Snoke has been rumored to be everyone from Darth Plagueis and Darth Sidious to an ancient being from unknown space. But the most incredible theory yet suggests he never existed at all. Spotted by Screen Rant, Redditor YA Films wrote, What if Kylo Ren and Snoke are the same person? What if Snoke was a force projection from Kylo Ren this whole time? Yes, this is extreme but, as another fan points out, when Obi-Wan is all Darth Vader betrayed and murdered your father, he's also speaking as though Darth Vader and Anakin were separate entities. The theory goes on to cleverly explain exactly how this would work. I would love to find out that Kylo Ren, Ben Solo was actually that powerful and that mixed up this whole time that he manifested Snoke into the physical world, it would speak to how ungodly powerful he truly is, and it would build on the new force related elements of the new trilogy. What if Ben Solo was so powerful, that his conflicted mind manifested Snoke and Ben had no idea? Snoke then builds the First Order and twists Ben's mind and turns him into Kylo Ren. Snoke tells Kylo to murder Han. Snoke speaks on Kylo's insecurities and weaknesses like a voice inside one's own head. Remember when Han said to Kylo Ren on the bridge, that's Snoke talking? In The Last Jedi, we see Kylo Ren finally snap and murder Snoke, just to assume the role of top bad. What if he was releasing himself of his Snoke facade and finally come into his own? No more hiding behind his Snoke alter ego that he didn't fully understand was himself. It is a fascinating and well-argued theory but seems rather a stretch that the Snoke creation took on such an independent life it could lead an entire galaxy-wide war while Kylo Ren was often occupied elsewhere. Especially since Snoke was there almost from Ben Solo's conception. An impressive feat for an unborn child to pull off, however precocious he may be. The Redditor themselves adds the caveat, this theory is meant as fun fan speculation and nothing more. It certainly shows just how much many of the fans want to know more about Snoke. With rumors Andy Serkis pulled out of a Comic Con appearance at the same time episode 9 filming was taking place, there is still hope Snoke may return in the final film. Original theory on Reddit here, 